So Grapevine not only run different projects, but we try and stick with people so that if a plan is made, it can be carried out and it just doesn't just finish when that person puts down the piece of paper. Grapevine also works with other organisations to try and get the best deal for the people we support. And we do that mostly by helping people speak up for themselves. Um, one of the projects we've just done recently is a national project with the Coventry Community Safety Partnership, the Learning Skills Improvement Service and the police so that young disabled people can speak out against disability hate crime and make resources to go out all across the country. We work with the Youth Council's Democracy Project and the Youth Service. We've run services for short breaks and part of the City Council's Time For Me programme. We've worked with our partners in the Council on 11 million days. Doing this project kind of relates to me because this was the situation I was in. You know, this helped break down the barriers that I used to have. Um, this is why I'm so passionate about it, because for me that was me, you know. So if I can help someone get through what I went through and make it much easier, that's brilliant. Uh, I never had a chance to interact yeah. with uh, any disabled peers. Yeah. For me that was something I never thought about um, until about year eight in school, when um, Camden Court, my school, teamed up with Sherborne Fields and we went to Kumari for a day where we teamed up with the other school and did some activities together. It taught me that actually it's not me helping people with disabilities, it's allowing people with disabilities to have a chance in the world and show what they can do, show what their talents are. And I think that was a big turning point for me. Before I finish, I want to show you um, a picture of that day back in year eight at Kumami. You might recognize me. Oh, yeah. I've thrown into them, okay? I've thrown into them. <laughs> but you might also recognise one other person up there. Is it going to be that person up there? <laughs> Who, just out of coincidence, that was a, a decade ago. <laughs> and it just so happened, seven years later, when I walked into when I got the job and walked in to meet the person I'd be working with, it turned out to be that person I'd met back in that day in Kumabi about a decade ago now. I've become more independent and I can go from different places, which is really good for me to get me more confidence to, um, to, build, to build for myself. Fantastic. That's good. So what, what sort of independent things do you do, you do now? Um, meet friends, go to work by on my own. Um, Phone, phone people. Just, just like that. May last year, Chloe finished her last vocational course, and it was a case of where do we go from here. I'd heard about Grapevine, um, and it was an eye opener because it was like come in, you know, join in, and through that, Chloe's learned how to uh, pick the phone up and ask for work. She's looking for work at the moment, and it's all, you know, confidence building all the time. She's learned how to use the public transport system, which I feared that she would never be able to do for years. That was one of my biggest worries. I used to transport Chloe everywhere. Um, so, you know, the worries that I had have, have not diminished completely, but have been reduced significantly. Um, 2004, it was actually great one who said to me, what are you doing about disability hate crime? You're dealing with homophobic hate crime, you're dealing with racist hate crime. What are you doing about hate crime against disabled people? And they did put me on the spot and I said, I'll be very honest with you, not a lot is happening. And now most recently I started to work with, um, with, with Rachel and the Young People's Project. So we're creating a pack now which will go out to every further education college in the, the country. Jump to after your bag while you go and play pool. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so what sort of things did he talk to you? 
Thank you all for coming, really. Hey, thanks a lot. 